Reapers on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Hi, welcome to Heart of the Home. Gosh, it's good to be home. Home for the holidays. You know, I have a saying, life is short, eat dessert first. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boys, what you think of this cake? Very good. Mm -hmm. I have rounded up. Three of the dearest people in my life. Melton Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> you bet that it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I forget your name. I don't know why I do that, son. Matt yeah. Dibler. I never forget his name. There you go. And Darren Osborne, we never forget that sweet smile and face. And we've been making fun of him because he can't reach the floor. Now, let's talk about the things you have in common and the things that you are very different about. This is the comedian. This is a serious one, and this is the full of it one. Oh, is that about right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. I thought I was the... Is that about it's right? Okay. Isn't it wonderful to be home for the holidays? Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, y'll be, you'll be home a month. Always look forward to that time. And that's um, every year? Mm -hmm. Do you pretty much do that? We do. And that's the year that you get to grow a little beard, mm -hmm. and you get to hang out with your kids. It is. And spend some time together. And Matt, uh, most people know that you are no longer with the Inspirations. Mm -hmm but you are still singing and you've been on north georgia now today this week and singing was it a little tough to step back up there a little bit you know you wonder how people feel about it and mm -hmm. stuff like that but and the phones rang off the hook and everybody was so glad to have you back and that's why i thought it was important to do this today yeah, yeah. i think that the message and your voice has to come back mm -hmm. it has to come back and darren now that you're not with the inspirations anymore and you're just full-time pastor yes ma'am i am how's that working out that's great. You know, I get to um, spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, you're not tied between, you know, singing and preaching. A lot of times we, I would be on the road and I'd come in real early in the morning and just mm -hmm. be wore out. And then you got to get up in the pulpit and have that same kind of energy that you sang with on Saturday night right. to, to preach to your people because then you're depriving them of, of what they need for you and a pastor. So right. it's been exciting. Our church has grown. Uh, I would say it's almost doubled since... Um, since I've been full-time there, so the Lord's blessed. Now, where is your church? It's in Clemens, North Carolina, uh, Friends Baptist Church. We, uh, we actually were Faith Baptists. We merged with another church that gave us a, a you know, great amount of property and a building, and, and God's just been really good. We've got a good, good thing going. Now, let's talk about your families. Mm -hmm. How's everything at home? Doing great. Christy just finished up with her master's. Yes. Levi and Blair both are doing good in school. Uh, if she got the master's, does that mean you got the slave? I guess so. <laughs> I walked in the house and said, then I met the master. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Matt, how are things at your home? Going great. Good. Going great. Good. Uh, and the girls are grown. Yeah, Lindsay's a senior. Mm -hmm. This is her last year. She's carrying a 4.0 grade, grade point average. Didn't get that from me. I started to say, are you paying the teachers anything? Mm. <laughs> Well, I, uh, she's going to Christian school, so I guess I am in a way, but yeah. that's not why she got that. But she's doing really good. Good. Um, I can't help her with her homework or nothing like that, and that's kind of nice. I, I don't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. but she's she's really good. She's a good kid, and uh, Sabrina's actually the secretary at that school, and that works out for the most part. Sometimes mm -hmm. it causes a little friction within the girls, but they, they get along real good. We, you know, the other night uh, we had a kind of a family night, and they were just kind of cutting up and just... Um, just going on with each other and having a good time. And I thought, you know, those moments are mm -hmm. moments you cherish. You mm -hmm. know? Melton, I mean, uh, they were talking about traveling and, and uh, Darren mentioned about rushing back. I, I was in Delaware the other day in the airport, well, actually in Baltimore, Maryland. And mm -hmm. I, I had thought, man, I've been here and um, spent the night all night just to get back and rush to get back to church. And I know what that was like. And, you know, there are parts of traveling that I miss a lot, mm -hmm. but there are parts that are not so missed, and that is, you know, I miss traveling with Melton and them, and and fellowshipping, you know, with Darren, of course. I wasn't trying to leave you out there, but I just, mm -hmm. but I, Melton and I traveled together, you know, almost ten years, and 
And, that, and the that's chemistry the was yeah. perfect. Right. Yep. You know, I said that is the hardest thing for this breakup because the chemistry was absolutely perfect. And I think that's the thing I've heard so many people say, the inspirations have always been wonderful, but they were at the top of their game. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, that's changed now, but you know, I'm not sure how it's gonna go on. Well, and I don't know, I mean, you never know what, you know, I, I talked with Martin this week and had a great talk with him. Uh, and I highly respect the inspirations and I, you know, they've got a great ministry. Glad I was part of it and still feel part of it. And just, you know, in a time of, uh, you know, just self-reflecting and seeing what the Lord has for us. And, mm -hmm. and I, I pray for them, pray God will bless them. They, they got a great ministry. And, mm -hmm. and I appreciate you having this because it gives us the opportunity to get back together right. and fellowship Absolutely. and enjoy. It. Absolutely. And, and my, my one reason for doing this, we can't silence your voice. We really can't. So we're going to take a break right now, and then when we come back, we are going to hear from The Voice. Now, Darren, you and Melton wrote the song that you're going to perform, and Matt, you're going to chime in on it, and yeah, this is going out. to be the first mm -hmm. time ever in public you will hear a new song. What's the name of it? Walking by Faith. Walking by Faith. So sit back and enjoy. We'll be right back, guys. I'm walking by faith and not by sight, living for the Lord and doing what's right. Knowing my sins are covered by the blood of the great I am. No need to worry, fear, or care, for I know the Lord is always there. Though come what may, I'm on my way, I'm walking by faith. The road I face ahead may not be easy. There may be some twists and turns along the way. But I'm thankful that my Lord, He leads me. And His guiding hand will help me stand as I trust Him every day. I'm walking by faith and not by sight, living for the Lord and doing what's right. Knowing my sins are covered by the blood of the great I am. No need to worry, fear, or care, for I know the Lord is always there. Though come what may, I'm on my way, I'm walking by faith. Now sometimes I can't see what lies before me. And I follow Him into the darkest night. But every step I take, it draws me closer. And I won't turn around because I found that Jesus is the light. I'm walking by faith and not by sight, living for the Lord and doing what's right, knowing my sins are covered by the blood of the great I am. No need to worry, fear, or care, for I know the Lord is always there. Though come what may, I'm on my way, I'm walking by faith. I'm walking by faith and not by sight, living for the Lord and doing what's right, knowing my sins are covered by the blood of the great I am. No need to worry, fear, or care, for I know the Lord is always there. Though come what may, I'm on my way, I'm walking by faith. Though come what may, I'm on my way, I'm walking by faith. Wow, was that not a great song, Walking by Faith? Now, Milton, okay, who is the... Factor who made this a great song, honestly. Honestly, well, me and Darren was on the bus, and Darren and me have been kind of talking about maybe doing some songwriting together since we were traveling together. So mm -hmm. Darren, he started. He was kind of the spearhead. And we have to say for four years, we right. all travel together. He was kind of the spearhead of of putting it all together. And we were sitting in the back one day, and we started jotting down words and started putting together words and phrases and stuff. And he kind of came up with the you came up with the jingle mm -hmm. of how it went. And he got to one spot and got stumped, and I said, well, what about da-da-da-da-da, or what about da da You know, so we started kind of bumping back and forth what mm -hmm. could go in the song to, mm -hmm. to fit. And we started going through some of the scripture and looking at some different ways to say things and uh, just kind of fell together. Yeah, we, what had happened was um, they're, they're a part of my life was, was kind of upside down. You know, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if I was mm -hmm. going to you know, be with the inspirations full time and, and I was without a job, and you know, in that kind of turmoil, I felt honestly the first time in my life that that I was 
you know, living by faith or walking by faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes that's very hard. So I just wrote down, uh, I'm walking by faith and not by sight, living for the Lord, doing what's right. And I just kind of stopped. I, I was stumped. So I just thought, you know, let me ask Melton. Uh, Matt was in his in his bed or something, and uh, no, I I was, not <laughs> our boy. I was either in bed or probably driving. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, probably it. Probably. Yeah. But uh, I sat down with I'm just picking Matt. I sat down with Melton, and uh, the next line he gave me was probably one of my favorite lines in the song, "Knowing my sins are covered by the blood of the great I am." Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, what a what a line, you know. Uh -huh. And so wrote that down and and wrote out the verses talking about. You know the road that I face ahead, and, and even now in the economy that we, we right. the America's economy and stuff. Right. Man, you look before you; it doesn't look like it's going to be an easy road. Right. Yeah, me and you came up. I remember that night we were sitting up there in the front of the bus. We started on the song back at the back. Yeah. But that night it was up two, three, four o'clock in the morning. We was dri I was driving the bus, and you were sitting in the jump seat, and you were saying, well, "What? You know?" We said, "I said, you know, it's kind of like." And I said something about the road in front of us. I said, "Man, you look out here, and you see so many things, and you know, it, you don't know what's up ahead of you." And so then you took that and you said, man, what, you know, the road ahead of heaven. And so you came up with the first verse and it was, that was pretty neat the way it kind of uh -huh. all transpired and came together. Right. Now, <clears throat> had you written before this? I, I had, I'd, I'd sang with a group, um, kind of out of college, Blessed Hope. And, and a lot of those guys, we just sat around, we'd throw songs around and write down. And I wrote about two or three, um, and you kind of get out of the habit mm -hmm. when you're not singing and on the road and, and, and things are busy you don't have the time to write. And so on the bus, we had plenty of time. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to start writing again. And, and the Lord just kind of gave mm -hmm. us some songs. We we sit down talking about the champion of love and how that was a unique song. And uh, I we sat down and wrote The Show mm -hmm. Must Go On, uh, mm -hmm. talking about how that Jesus Christ came to the earth, died on the cross. He showed us a love that surpasses anybody else's. And the show must go on. We mm -hmm. must also show that love to others. And uh, that was a, you kind know, I just play enjoy it. Yeah, I just enjoy kind it. Kind of play off of words as mm -hmm. the, you know, the big show, like the Ringling Brothers Bar and right. Circus, a kind of a play. Well, I really think the best Christmas present I could give our audience is to have the three of you together oh. because I know you get more hits than I do. So sometimes I could get my feelings hurt, but mm -hmm. I understand that people want to hear you and they want to know that y'all are okay. Right. And Darren, you were, you know, after four years, you were a big part of this you can't just go away. So I think it's very important that we share these songs. Now, y'all have chosen a couple of songs. Some you've done before, some you hadn't done before. The one you just did, people, it's the first time ever heard because right. it was never recorded, was it? Mm -mm. We did We did put the song on an album, but whenever Darren left, they took the song off the album mm -hmm. before it was released. Right. And so it has been recorded, but the public hasn't heard mm -hmm. it. Well, I think we will get calls. I think we'll get emails. I think they'll love it. And right now, y'all have chosen another song that we're going to go to. We're going to let you sit back once again and enjoy. Now, <clears throat> I call y'all triple trouble. I call <laughs> you a lot of little catchy phrases, but in truth, you really are just good friends, aren't you? Right. And you keep in touch, mm -hmm. even though you're separated. And we have to say, you're still with the Inspirations, and you're on the bus every week. Right. I know how much you miss them. I know how much you miss them, and I know how hard it is. And and that's one of those things, it's like losing a part of yourself it because is. you have made the statement that you spent more time with him than you did with your family. I did. I mean, every night, you know, we'd, not, and not not sounding bad, but every night I'd go to bed, at, I was on the top bunk, he was in the middle bunk, but I'd go to bed and we'd either say something to each other or open our bunks and say something cute to each other or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you're like going to going to sleep or like whatever. Like being brothers. Yeah, yeah. like being so brothers. get that yeah. because I slept on the couch. <laughs> He was in the other room. <laughs> and for people who haven't been on that bus, oh my goodness gracious yeah. sakes alive. <laughs> well, you get to the place when you travel that long together, you can just look at one yeah. another and you know what they're thinking. Exactly. And it's it's hilarious because of some things that go on. You talk yeah. about chemistry. That's that's the kind of stuff that mean and we just And we, I think I think that is what is so important about today. We're gonna put your chemistry back together again. Right. You know, I failed biology, but I think we're gonna get an A plus today. <laughs> so everybody sit yeah. back. And listen, because once again, you are going to hear triple trouble coming oh to you. Goodness. So let's sit back and enjoy these guys one more time. Look up, fear not, the angel said, Behold, Messiah's come, the one of whom we've read. And as he spoke to men that day, 
the heavenly host around the throne join in to say glory to god in the highest peace on earth and goodwill to men heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of bethlehem hallelujah to the lord sing holy he was born to save the world from sin glory to god in the highest glory hallelujah to the lord amen and still today the wise men come Offering their praise to God's anointed one. And as they speak their heartfelt love, this glorious sound falls on my ear from up above. Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. Sing glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels announce his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. 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 Sing glory to God in the highest peace on earth peace. and goodwill to men. Heavenly angels and answer the rival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord, amen. 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 Boy, that was great. I know y'all have enjoyed this. Now, today's theme has nothing to do with cooking. It's about coming home for the mm -hmm. holidays. And when I came home for the holidays, I decided no cooking. So we started with dessert today. Who made the pound cake? My uncle made the pound cake. And it had divinity icing And on I it. can tell that because we started with dessert first. Life is short, eat dessert That's first. Right. My sugar has gone has out really? the roof. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it. But uh, I chased it with a bottle of water, so, <laughs> so it'll be okay. But um, when you go home for the holidays, everybody has those familiar recipes that you love. And that's what I did in the cookbook. I chose things that I knew my kids liked. Right. And a lot of recipes were tried at the go-kart track. And now we've gone on to NASCAR. Nick is racing Legends cars. Let me tell you the fun Thanksgiving weekend we had. Three days in a hotel waiting to race in the pouring down rain. There was mm. no rain. There's no race. That's so much fun with three boys. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Now, Melton, you're my co-host on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Matt, you're going to be filling in for him when he has to be off. I think that's going to be a good idea to get you back on the set. Everybody loved having you back. And Darren, you. sweetheart, you live so far away. I, what I are we going to do about that? We love it. Move. Oh, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you need to move closer to me. You need to move closer to me because people loved having you on the set too. See? It's been so much fun. See? Right? They do. They do. <laughs> Although, who was, voted the, right. who was voted the best co-host? Bill Seniord. Bill Seniord. But only four people voted, I think. Right. You know. <laughs> I think we need a I think we need to revote. But um, North Georgia Now Today brings people, you every week, and you now in the near future, and, and shares music, and we do a lot of different things. We've had the diplomats on lately. But it is it is so much fun because we talk about anything and everything. You right. know, we might talk about um, something good happening in the community, something bad happening in the community, but it is all about the North Georgia area. And I think it's a good way for us to welcome people into mm -hmm. this area. So now one of the things that welcomes people is always good gospel music. And today y'all have chosen a Christmas song to end mm -hmm. with. Tell me about Wonder of Wonders. It talks about, you know, that how many things happened in uh, the little town of Bethlehem when the Lord was born, how that the, the uh, angels, you know, showed up and showed around him and the star led the, the wise man to, actually, I think it says in the Bible, it didn't lead him to them to the stable. They actually came to his house after yeah, after, after been he born. had been born. But, mm -hmm. you know, how that everything kind of, you seem like the world just kind of stopped. And, you know, you have in the world today, you have the seven wonders of the world. Mm -hmm. But truly, the wonder of all the wonders was that he came down and now lives in your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's not just, you know, a God or a, you know, a being, he is, he is alive and well mm -hmm. and living in your heart today, mm -hmm. can be. And how many times have you stepped on stage and sung that song? I have sang it, that was actually the first song I ever sang with the Inspirations. Little Troy Burns recorded it, but mm -hmm. I, that was the first song I ever sang as a solo when I came with y'all. Mm -hmm. Did you ever dream 10 years later you'd still be doing that song? No, and, I, and probably 
Archie and them probably never even realized they'd still be singing Wake Up, Sleep No More and Tear in right. That City. And, right. you know, we're still doing like My Lord's Been a-Walking. We've right. done that song a num number of times. But so many of the songs people come to hear and they want to hear like, you know, Tear in That City, The Wonder of Wonders. Mm -hmm. Those songs are, are just uh, fan favorites. And so I, I enjoy singing. It's a great song. Well, some of them are that old, you know, they bring back out. Some people think they're brand new. Right? I know. They've never I know. Heard them before, right. So right. That's pretty interesting how that. Well, one out. of the songs I know that the inspirations people are missing is Resurrection Ground. And today, while y'all are here, we're actually going to shoot a couple of shows. And mm -hmm. on the next program that I think we're going to air probably Christmas Day, um, you will be singing Resurrection Ground. So um, I think it's very important that you. Those are songs that you didn't make it famous, but you made it very well known, very well known. And it's a song that touches so many people, and mm -hmm. you know how it touched me. Oh, yeah. So today, you know, we're going to stay here and we're going to we're going to do some more songs and we're going to do some more fellowshipping. And I think it's going to be a great way mm -hmm. for us to give. This is the greatest gift of all. It didn't cost us anything. We're just going to have y'all singing and, and you sharing with each other. And the song that y'all wrote, you know, right. I think it's phenomenal that we've been able to share that today. I hope that people will sit back and say this is a great idea. A gift you know? from the heart is the best kind of gift. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And this does come from the heart. And, and such talent, such talent, and such talent... <clears throat> and together, you know, y'all do the very best. You do the very best. And there are things like we were talking about um, I'm a Winner Either Way, mm -hmm. a song that you, nobody can do it like you do. So that's one of I those that, that people song. identify with that's you. That's a good yeah. song. A lot yeah. of people have requested that. And, you know, you sing songs over and over and over again. You get to the place where if you're not careful, you become callous to it. But the prayer needs to be, Lord, make it real to me again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's so true. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, heart of the home is usually cooking. We're usually in the kitchen. Today, we haven't set foot near the kitchen. <gasps> it's been nice. It's been nice. But we have had a great visit with you, and um, I hope the, ho the holidays have to be so special to you. And remember, it is Christmas, and it is all about Christmas, and it's all about a birth. Mm -hmm. And Melton, right now, you're going to sing The Wonder of Wonders. It is all about a special birth that happened many, many years ago. And um, that birth could once again happen in your heart, couldn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Sure can. Now we're going to close today with the Wonder of Wonders sung by Triple Trouble. There you go. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's program. And remember, check us out at www.heartofthehomerecipes.com. And it's not too late to enter our contest for the Larry Dodson Prince. So remember, email me your name, address, and phone number. We will see you again real soon on Heart of the Home. The wonder of wonders as she looked on his face That this little boy spoke the worlds in their place The stars and the moon shining brightly on them The earth and the sun were created by him The wonder of wonders Oh, how could it be that God became flesh and was given for me? The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. The wonder of wonders as she looked down and smiled that he was her maker as well as her child he created the womb that had given him birth he was god incarnate come down to the earth the wonder of wonders oh how could it be that god became flesh and was given for me. The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. The wonder of wonders as she heard his small cry, that his voice had thundered on Mount Sinai. The small hand she held so tenderly Had made a dry path through the mighty Red Sea The wonder of wonders, 
Oh, how could it be that God became flesh and was given for me? The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. Thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. But in Bethlehem's home was there found no room for thy holy nativity. O come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Heaven's arches rang as the angels sang, proclaiming thy royal decree. But of lowly birth didst thou come to earth, and in great humility. O oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for thee. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart.